I have found the exact location that God came down to the earth on the top of Mount Sinai. You'll be thankful I gave you this full Bible storyline when you see the photograph at the end of this episode. You'll understand exactly what it is. Exodus in chapter 19, verse 3. When Moses climbed up the mountain to appear before God, you guys all know the story. The Lord called to him from the mountain and said, Give these instructions to the family of Jacob. Announce it to the descendants of Israel. You have seen that I did to the Egyptians. You know how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now I'm going to tell you what most Christians and even Jews have thought wrongly about what happened at this time. People think Mount Sinai is in Egypt. It's not. The Bible talked about how when this storyline happened, how he crossed a river and how he crossed a certain location. It's actually in Saudi Arabia. But not only is it in Saudi Arabia, this is also related to the Ten Commandments that were given. I'll just share this little snippet before I give you the photo of God coming down on the earth. The literal proof that we still have to this day that God came on a fire. And before I share that with you, I want to tell you something about the Ten Commandments. A lot of people think that God wanted to give the Ten Commandments from the start. It's like the Ten Commandments were the best thing ever. Actually, the Ten Commandments were only given because God was showing the people how they were not enough on their own. In fact, the Bible even teaches us in Romans chapter 8 how the law was given to us to expose the sin that was in our lives. And the reason is because in verse 7, then Moses returned from the mountain, called together the elders of the people and told them everything the Lord had commanded him. In verse 8, the people responded together, we will do everything the Lord has commanded. God gave these Ten Commandments to the people to show them that they needed him in the first place, that it was more about their hearts than it was just about the thing. And that's exactly why Jesus Christ came. And I could go more into that, but I just want to tell you that if you've ever felt ashamed or condemned, or you just feel like you're never enough, you just feel like you haven't fulfilled it all. If you feel like you have to be a good enough Christian, if you feel like even though you might, you might be saved, but like you still have to be like perfect enough for God to accept you. I want to tell you that the law, the Ten Commandments were never given so that you could be good enough. The Ten Commandments were given to show you that you're not able to do it. And also some people will say, oh, then Gabe, I don't need to follow the Ten Commandments. Well, it's not about checking off boxes about whether or not you're following the law. It's more about following God and following the Holy Spirit. You don't need to write out the Ten, Com the Ten Commandments on your doorpost every single day before you leave. That being said, if you are following the Holy Spirit, if you are following God, and if you are listening to the heart, to the faith, and, and wanting to just love him today, wanting to just please him, you will not go against the Ten Commandments. But my point here is that you're not actively thinking about how to follow the Ten Commandments. No, what's more important is that you actively think about your friendship with Jesus Christ, because he's your best friend. I'm going to tell you what happened in Exodus 19, verse 18. All of Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord had descended on it with a form of fire. I want to take this quick preview. Before I show you this photo, I want to tell you that I've created some amazing Make Jesus Viral merch where you can spread the goodness of God. It's also just really dope. Be sure, here's some photos. Be sure to check that out. If you click this little store right here on this video, you can see that I've released a book that is literally coming out this week. You can get it in all stores, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. If you want to pre-order it right now, trust me, you will, because we, the more we pre-orders we get, we'll get in the front of stores. I'm not saying this to make money. Trust me. I, I don't need money from you. I don't need a bunch of book sales. I'm saying this because God put this book on my heart. It's a 90 day devotional where you will get closer to God. It breaks down biblical truth. Smoke billowed into the sky like smoke from a brick kiln and the whole mountain shook violently. And now that you've gotten to the end of this episode, here is a photo of the top of Mount Sinai. You are now looking at Jabal Makla. Now, a lot of people, like I told you at the beginning of this episode, think that Mount Sinai is in Egypt. It's not. It's actually right here. And we here we have physical evidence. Obviously, there's a fire. But here's what's so crazy. All these scientists have come together and they've come up with all these different theories, but they literally cannot seem to figure out the exact scientific reason for why the top of this mountain is black. It's the only spot on the whole mountain that is black. It's the only place it looks like there must have been a fire. Almost like God must be real. Almost like God must have come down. I just think it's crazy. People will look for every other reason except the truth and they'll work their butt off to be like, oh, it's this, 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 it's this. And then God's over here like, Hello. <laughs> but all these theories, none of them have a conclusion, but I know the conclusion and you know it as well. The Bible literally told us it from the start. And I'm here to tell you what's so amazing about the word of God. What's so amazing about what God did that day is this. He is still pursuing you. He is still chasing you down. But now in the time we live in, God is not just calling Moses to the top of the mountain. God is not just appearing in a fire to Moses, but now God has appeared in a fire through the man, Jesus Christ, who lives in me, who is looking at you right now, looking into your eyes and looking to your heart. And Jesus wants to tell you that he brings the Holy Spirit and fire to you today. You don't need to be good enough for God. You don't need to do all the perfect laws. You don't need to go to church a million times and read your Bible 365 days a year for God to accept you. Jesus Christ has already substituted for you. And in the sight of God, you have 
have the full opportunity to look exactly like the righteousness and goodness of Jesus if you will accept him. What does it mean to accept him? It's simple. It means that you're done living for yourself. You're done trying to be good enough on your own and you choose to receive him in your heart. What does it mean to receive? Receive means take, grab. Um, choose to lay down what's in your hand and receive Jesus. And so I just wanted to encourage you and bless you with that today and tell you that the fire and power of the Holy Spirit will empower you to be what God has called you to be. Stop thinking of yourself like you're nothing, that you've made too many mistakes. Stop, stop listening to the lies of the haters around you. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a teacher. Maybe it's a boss. Maybe it's your past thoughts coming up. Intrusive thoughts just coming and telling you that you're not enough, that you're never going to be enough, that you're just a failure. Listen to me. Be a strong man and woman and be what God has called you to be and take joy today. You're forgiven and washed and redeemed and restored. And God sees in you something so amazing. He will never stop pursuing you. There's a reason God said in the Bible, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What is it about you that God has so specifically chosen? And and even the fact that you're still here on this episode, still listening to the sound of my voice, says something about how God has chased you down in every single moment in your life. And there's times where you think he left you. There's times where you think he was just in a Bible. There's times where you think God was just angry at you or he just was ha had enough of you. But I'm here to tell you that in those moments, God actually never left you. And sure, it might have looked like he wasn't with you. Sure, it might have looked like things weren't going well. But let's take responsibility. Let's be mature. And I always give this example. If I ask my girlfriend right in front of me, who's actually filming this video right now, if I asked her on a date and I said, I will be at your apartment and I will pick you up at 6 p.m. and we will go to this restaurant and we will do this thing. And I pull up in my car and she never gets out of the apartment. And I go knock on the door and she never gets out of the apartment. And I give her a call and a text and she never responds. And all the while, she's sitting on the couch and she's looking at her Instagram messages and she's waiting to see my message there on Instagram and she never sees it. Why? Is it because of my fault? Is it because I'm a bad boyfriend? Is it because I'm a bad man? Is it because I didn't know what I was doing? No, it's because she'd be looking at her Instagram messages instead of iMessage, right? Let's take responsibility in our life. Listen, if you feel like you don't hear God, if you feel like he's not helping you, if you feel like he's not doing anything for you, He's already done so much for you. He's already given you everything in Christ. There's nothing left for God to do. Trust me, Jesus is everything. And he's already died and risen again. Now, the only part is, what will you receive? What will you hear? The radio at 800 FM is always going, but if you turn it to 800 AM, you will never hear anything. So don't say, God doesn't speak to me. No, instead, open up your ears. Take responsibility, be humble, be mature. We, we don't have time to be baby Christians in this end times, trust me. YouTube is such Projecting this video to you, I think it might just actually really be helpful for you. I'll see you here. Sweet.